often say other people are trying to be victims and i think i think that's a defense mechanism where you think somebody addressing you is being a victim you think i think people are merely addressing me as being a victim no i just see it with like some of the younger folks that like work in media when you address them you often accuse them of trying to play the victim like who scotty beam and rory oh he ghosts <laughs> <laughs> Got, I it. Added. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Any non ghosts? <laughs> Any non ghosts? I mean, I don't know what you can call a ghost, but just younger folks that be in your, your orbit that ever say anything about you, it's like they're playing a the victim. No, I don't believe that. I talk way too much shit about people to feel that way. So don't try to paint that narrative. <laughs> Let's paint it. I'm, br I'm trying to bring some people up here. Let's bring a girl up here. Let's get some balance. Let's see if she's, mm. if she's gay. Oh, here we fucking go. Gotta you know what's it. crazy, Joe? You literally just had all these Miss Niggas allegations on me that I was not fighting, okay? And now I'm the leader of the gays. It's like, pick a side. No, I, that's what I'm telling you to do. <laughs> oh, my God. Because you are Miss Niggas still, but I'm I'm noticing a change. Oh, I'm, I'm seeing a change where... Nigga, the niggas don't even come in your rooms no more. <laughs> they were just, there yesterday. It's just a bunch of gay bitches. <laughs> oh my god, the narratives. Sue, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Joe. I'm good. I'm in a happy range today, so I don't know good. about anybody else. We love that. Why are you so happy? Um, because I woke up. I'm here with Joe. I'm still me. So I love that. Yeah. I love that. That's the energy we need in the happy medium spaces. I woke up with breath in my lungs and I'm me. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> oh, so Sue can stay. Yes. Who and I'm niggas? straight. I'm straight. Just to make and it clear. And she's straight. Don't let them turn you out, Sad Sue. <laughs> Don't let them change you. Hi, Sue. Mute up. Hey, fat mama. <laughs> <laughs> Dory, what is this wet heat? I was there for that name change last you night. You were there. <laughs> I was there, yeah. <laughs> Would you like to explain it for the people that weren't? Um, nobody knows what it means, but it's provocative. It gets the people going. Oh, my God. Um, niggas on stage, what's up? That publicist shit. Yeah. How y'all doing, man? What's going on? Talk to me. I'm cooking for this Super Bowl party right now, man. This shit is some bullshit, man. Yeah, man, the man up cooking. That's right. Cause these bitches don't have no home skills. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot what room I was in. <laughs> yeah, patriarchy, <laughs> nigga shit. Yeah. Guess yeah. what? Basic skills. What you cooking? Uh, making wings and this rotel dip, and then I might. I think I might make some buffalo chicken dip, but it depends on if they piss me off or not. Niggas make dips and think they can cook. Oh, yeah, I'm, I should make Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a Chicken fucking Super Bowl dip. party. What you want me to make? Filet mignon? The fuck? I'm saying, you're talking about <laughs> bitches don't have no skills and you're over here making Rotel. These bitches can't even make hamburger. What do you mean? And Rotel <laughs> doesn't go in chicken egg? dip. <laughs> Rotel is not in chicken dip. No, he said two different types of dips because I guess he's special or whatever. Oh, a real man. Mm. Options. Tough. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> I ordered spicy chili wings. I ordered honey barbecue wings. And then I forgot the rest of the wings. But I ordered a bunch of wings. I called dad. Get this fucking macaroni salad going. Let's get some salads here. Y'all know I've been on my weight loss journey. Yes, sir. Um, What else? What else? What else? Uh, called Wait. the... the Joe, you be on your weight loss journey and then you pop up with fucking a 35 ounce tomahawk steak on your fucking Instagram. What are, what, what are we doing here? On, we on doing? a cheat on a cheat day and I eat in day? portions now. So even if it's 35 ounce tomahawk, I will only take a few bites. Okay, question. So if you only take a few bites, do you take a doggy bag? No. Or was that poor? I'm, I'm way too, yeah, I'm way too classy to bring a no, doggy bag dog. anywhere. My fault. My fault. I don't have a dog. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a dog, rest in peace, my dogs, and I'd bring a doggy bag.
Hello? Hi. No, not no, not you. Not, Fuck not, you. No, no, not you. I hate it. <laughs> I'm trying to get to know these other niggas. Dion, what's up? Man, what's the word? What's, How you what, doing, man? What's going on? I'm going through some shit right now, but but life is good. I don't want to make this all depressing and shit, but Oh no no! If it's if it's funny, then it won't be depressing. Nah, I mean, how bad is it? Did the dog die? Did your girl leave? Is somebody in the hospital? Yeah, Did you lose all your money. Shit. It's some heartbreak shit. It's my girl. I yeah. should have known. You were already in the bed and shit. Wait, before Valentine's Day? <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a blessing to me. Mm. What did you do? I didn't do anything. She, uh, I don't want to say it, but she gets a little abusive when she's drunk. And that's why we don't drink together. And the other day, she kind of, like, crossed the line. So. The other day when she crossed the line, did y'all drink together? Or was this a solo? Nah, I was, I was home asleep. She came And home, she came in drunk. She came home bugging, there. bugging out. Okay, now, is her, is her name on the, on the lease? No. Oh yeah, call the cops on her. Free you. And for real, for real, the shit felt like a setup. You feel me? Because she had came home not by herself. She came home with her her two girlfriends that she went out with. Wow. And the the, the gays. That's not like a great time. The whole. Oh my god. Like the whole time that shit was going on, they was just standing there watching. And it's like, what was y'all just standing there watching for? Nobody tried to de-escalate shit. Except for me. Did, did you want them to jump <laughs> jump you? <laughs> nah. Even that shit. But like, don't sit here and just watch this shit happen and not try to de-escalate it. This is my house. This is my home. This is my first home. My home has always been a welcoming environment. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I have a question. I had to, I, I had to handle some shit that I've never thought that I would ever have to handle. How she get in? Yeah. It is Valentine's Day. Shit's kind of crazy. I'm here cleaning up the crib now. I've been cleaning the crib all weekend. Trying to put this shit back together. How'd she get in? If it's your house. Um, she has a key. We've lived together for, what, seven months now? Yeah, seven months now. Oh, you want some uh, Tina Marie shit? Okay. Yeah. That's tough. Well, is she home now? That's why he whispering. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? The Hello? degenerate feminist? <laughs> All right. It's duality, Fat Mom. Duality. My name is not Fat Mom anymore. Dion, I, I'm I'm praying for you, brother. Yeah, pray for me, yo. You know my girl was a good girl. She always held me down. We had something great, but free you. Some, some things just can't be accepted any any longer. Amen. I agree. Man, it, go get your girl back, man. Uh, she ain't even do nothing. She just got violent on a drunk night. Come oh, on. Just as uh, but, but you shouldn't have been just sitting there like that. That's yeah, fault, you should have moved around, nigga. Exactly. You should have died. <laughs> Bob and Weave. Facts. Use her girlfriend as a body shield. <laughs> yeah, use her friend as a body shield. <laughs> Use her. All right. So, did you put all her shit in the in in the big big black trash bags? That's for the leaves, like the shit that's like sixty feet. <laughs> 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 that's good for when you got to put put all her shit in the bag, the construction <laughs> bag. Those are the only times those bags uh, uh, are good for some shit. <laughs> Yo, let me write this down. This is hilarious. <laughs> 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 You are Some awful. Shit, we are revisiting <laughs> the big construction bags that's supposed to be for leaves, but it's really her Toomey bags to put all shit in. Oh, man. Wait, so I hope you didn't run her to the arms of another man. At this point, I don't care. Damn, man. Like, it's like that. You feel me? It's like that. It's one of those Valentine's days, man. Why does it always happen before Valentine's Day? Why? Because of y'all, man. Why would you get drunk and attack him in February? In his own house. Could have did that shit next month. Facts. A couple days later. The pit yeah. Like, damn. There's too many men on stage. 
<laughs> well, she's real for you. Let's know, bring some women. Now. Let's bring some women on. No women are requesting. Look what happens when it's not one of those gay spaces. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. All right. Here's someone named Tina Harvey. Even that sounds like some we work shit, but we'll see. Tina, good morning. Hi, Joe. How are you? Long time no speak. This is Tina the cat. <laughs> meow, meow. Good brother. How are you? I'm great, Tina, but get no the fuck out of here. Off the stage. Off the stage. We're not looking for Tina the cat. Nah, nah, nah. Wait. Wait, no, from I'm... like Clubhouse? The Clubhouse yes. OG, Joe. Don't do that. <laughs> That's my girl, but no, t- no <laughs> Tina. <laughs> we was all there. We was all there. I heard meow, meow, and I got flashbacks. Oh, my God. Wait, you used to be on Clubhouse, Dory? Please hush. Clubhouse. Where you was at on Clubhouse? Just hush. Oh, you was on the other side. I wasn't on any side. I'm just uh, a girl. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to picture it now. Oh, I hate Dang it. Here. Were you there like season one and two, or you came later? Season one. Oh, man. I was just listening. <laughs> oh, man. It just a girl. Sense. It all makes sense. <laughs> Does it? Nothing makes sense. Uh, I'm back in here. I don't see too many girls. Just big name. Big gay. Hi, Jameson. <laughs> Jameson. Hi. How you doing? Nigga, just say hi. I'm fine. You okay? You don't sound fine. <laughs> you having a, you having a face your mentor after he lets you know that you're not his mentee is kind of, you know. Uh, it's hard, but you know. It is oh, what it is. Brother. You dug it out. He said five other points, and that's the one. <laughs> that's, all that, that's all that matters to me. That's all that matters to me. I don't like that you run out the room when you get kicked off the stage, Jameson. I mean, what's there left to talk about? Nigga, I get kicked off. You're supposed to just go to the audience, sit in the oven by yourself for a little bit, think about what got you kicked down there, and then come back on better behavior. And I don't like that verb that you do. So I, I get you get like this air and that shit fucked up. Jameson ain't never ran in his. Yep. See, that's the thing, Jameson. <laughs> <laughs> I was in your space yesterday and you went crazy with the mute everyone button. You were muting people and then calling their name, acting like you didn't know why their voice could not be heard. Like you got really on some control, control shit yesterday. And. You're not going to come to this space with this type of aggression. So let's simmer down. I will unmute everyone so we can have a vibe together. But this is a happy and fun space. There. It's going to be tough with Joe knowing. With Joe knowing what? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Jameson, I was looking for you after you blew your room up. I know, Fat Ma. We shared a group chat together. I saw the messages. But where was you at? Why was you ducking? I was dead ass devastated. I was I got in I got in my bed, I got under the covers. <laughs> Are you still under the covers? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I got in my bed, I got under the covers. All I saw were the messages. Jamie, where you at? They're attacking your character, nigga. They're trying to end us, big dog. I'm like, what, what is going on? Jameson, did you face the window or was you facing against the window? No, I'm under the covers, Dion. Under, under, with no light coming through. Yeah. Oh, is there a, a girl under there with you? Breath underneath. No, nigga, just my thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> I just couldn't let you get your shit off in peace. Like, I don't know what you thought this was, but I was like, absolutely not. And then that group chat thing with 10 people in it. Uh, yeah. You're right. <laughs> they hate, it. They hate when we talk about it or bring it up, Joe. So we got to change the subject. That's it. That's it. You know, I hate that it exists. <laughs> why? Why are you? Why do you have such hate in your heart? It is fucking disgusting. You know, we was gang before, like you know, you started running rooms or anything like that. Wait, you said what? 
we've been gang for like months now, like before before you, Joe. Oh, he said gay. I was like, oh, yeah, I thought he said that too. I didn't know what he was <laughs> No, well, that's just for face face. Gang. <laughs> that too. <laughs> nah, it's still, you're still my brother, Jameson. You know you big sis. Yeah, lots, lots of big brothers and big sisters over there, right? No, what you did yesterday was really some big sister shit. That's the funny part. Because I had to pow pow, nigga. I don't know what you thought this was, but I will shut all of this down. Oh, when she shut your space down? <laughs> she ain't shut my space. See, and that the narratives we run with, y'all. Come on. Yeah, I did. It wasn't shut down, you said? <laughs> I was ending that bitch regardless. I can't emotionally <laughs> function after what happened yesterday. Everybody had left your space. <laughs> that's, no, that's not what actually And then you happened, left your y'all. space and came over to listen anonymously, but I don't want to send to you right this second. No, I wasn't listening anonymously for real, for real. I had like got off of Twitter because I needed to calm down and breathe for a minute. And then I just get messages. All right, I don't want to hear about your group chat ever. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about my supporters. Talk about J Mo, nigga. We love you regardless. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to hear about your supporters either. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> yeah, no. Now that I, I got a few weeks under my belt with this space and stuff, so I know exactly <laughs> what I'm looking to hear and what I'm not <laughs> looking to hear. That's like, what I'm I don't, saying. I think it's it's gonna be tough now with you now knowing how to mute everyone. Before you didn't, it's gonna be a different type of show now. Uh no. No. My my rooms are normally normally pretty laid back. It's not a space where I'm trying to mute everybody. Oh, I'm seeing some nigga down there with a thumbs down. Let's see if he wanna come up and, and vocally thumbs down, nigga. Fuck you thumbing down. Can I ask a random question I was thinking about yesterday, Joe? Not right now. Hey, 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 well, hey. What you thumbs down it for? Oh, yeah, what up, boy? Nah, I seen you was in the building, man. Tomorrow you got the space. It's been for a couple of weeks. You can't figure out spaces in a couple of weeks now. I'm the space host development coach, Joe. I remember you on Clubhouse. They should have gave you that deal before they gave that bitch to Joe Rogan. On my soul, I've been telling niggas that, and niggas know I'm that nigga when it comes to social audio. Clubhouse should have gave you that deal, and they fucked everybody because they didn't. That's some real shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if everybody, anybody ever told you that before, but that's some real nigga shit. Clubhouse fucked their whole app off by not giving you the deal, and then Spotify gave Joe. All right. That's my type of talk. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Let's talk about Joe Rogan right now. <laughs> what, what is there to say about Joe Rogan? Let's talk about it. Go ahead. Well, Joe Rogan got the deal, Joe. He got the deal. You were you moved past it very quickly. Um, Joe Rogan is the the pod. I don't even want to say the pod father, the pod god. Uh, and yeah, man. And he's the exclusivity portion of it. Kind of reminds me of what you had going on back in the day. You know, mm-hmm. you were Black History Month. What yeah. happened? Do, like, does anybody know anybody that actually listens to the Joe Rogan podcast, like in real life? Because I don't yes. see these white motherfuckers on like Reddit and shit. I want to know. Even my white friends don't listen to Joe Rogan, and them niggas are wild. Um, I, I got, got good man who love that shit. Yeah, I, I, I've seen. I've seen some of the takes that Joe Rogan has. <laughs> Other people think they have it, and they got it from him. Joe Rogan podcast is like a dog whistle for the Capitol rioters. Well, why are you saying that? Because the only people I know that listen to Joe Rogan are supported the Capitol rights. Nah, it's not even that, bro. It'd it be motherfuckers who, it'd be white niggas who really are frustrated with life. I think y'all being myopic. I'm not a Rogan fan like that, but I don't even listen to him. But Are I you think... white? It's a certain church. No, I'm not. That listens to oh, okay. You sound like it. That's all I was asking. <laughs> no, he don't. Never mind. I don't sound white. But, um, okay. nah. Hmm. Yeah, well, I'm Danny, sure. I don't think I'm that we up. brushed over the Joe Rogan talk. I think that the news broke while we were recording, and I thought it was too big to not mention, so we mentioned it. I don't think there was anything uh, more to report, right? There wasn't a whole bunch of details released. They told us what the deal was worth. They told us he was going wide, and that was that. What else was there to say? Well, I think... Um... It, it is 
there, there's always more to be said about a topic. I mean, I'm sure you're well versed and able to kind of do the science in ways that other people can't imagine. So I assume you're going to double back on it is from what I'm hearing. Like you might talk about it in Patreon or something like that or not. Nah, that was it. <laughs> All right. He's making, Brogan's making waves, man. That's half a billy of podcasting. It's uh, easier to do that when you're allowed to, though, because he's white. They would never let, give Joe that much power because he's a nigga and he's outspoken. How do I imagine Joe with 500 M's? Exactly. Oh. You think Joe is wild now. Joe with fuck you money is a dangerous Joe's person. Five, That's the a whole good. world needs to be in on watch if Joe gets 500 million. Raj, I got a question. $500 million Joe is a funny conversation. Are the intros will be? Did we land on Plymouth Rock, Joe? Or did Plymouth Rock land on us? All right, it's getting too nerdy in here. It's getting a little. Let's slow down. I'm, you thought the hats were bad. I'm, I'm cool. Oh, I'm wait. cool with the Rogan talk, but let's let's still be cool while we do it. Dreamville. Oh, Dreamville. Uh, oh. Yeah, back to Dreamville. <laughs> Don't fucking piss me off. Uh, <laughs> hey, who me? <laughs> Whoever needs to hear those words, just oh, do yeah. not fucking piss me off. Oh, yeah, because you don't speak to Danny. I forgot. Mm-hmm. Was she speaking to me there? I don't know. I just said dreams, but I didn't know she was responding to me. No, she doesn't speak to you. I speak to everyone. Mm. Is Are there any more topics that you feel like we ran from or didn't expound enough on? There's another topic people said. I, I'm happy to talk about it. I'm not. I'm. I'm totally fine with it. But there's other. There's one other topic out there that people said you didn't uh, bring up. So what's Nick Danny doing for for the missus? No, I'm not <laughs> for the for the misters. Not but I, for uh, the misters. Coming coming Thursday night. Um, not nah, I. Uh, I uh, yeah. There's there's that topic. Um, but I'm happy you didn't talk about it. So shout out to you. There you go. Thank you. Finally, some stop support. I've always supported Joey. Why? Why the hell would we be talking about that? <laughs> I don't know. There's there's some there's some people on my Discord and other places on the Reddit was like, "Yo, Joe's not gonna learned, talk about it." Yo, I learned so much that day, yo. That's what I can say. I didn't want to talk about it because I learned a lot that day. It was a lot more you niggas excited than the women. <laughs> that know, was I the feel- real. That was the real takeaway from the day. How like, excited are you now that you got a little a bit bunch more? Of you, hey, James, are you speaking over a man? Hold up. Let me mute everyone. Yeah, it was a lot of you niggas that the Bluetooth speaker came on in the closet and y'all were having a party in there. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. I'll unmute everyone. So now that, I mean, you spent most of your career having like almost like an all male audience. What is having like female fans now? What is no, that no, like no, 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 no. See, you just was born the other day, so that's revisionist history. That's not true. In music, I may have spoke to the men. In real life, I stayed far away from men as possible. Jameson, respond. Go. I didn't hear the last part. He said that he stayed as far away from it as possible. Is that the last thing he said? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, all right. Nigga. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I didn't know. I wasn't born. I was like two when fucking Pump It Up came out. Did you see the first three videos Joe came out with? There was a lot of women in there. Oh, yeah, but then he was also, wow. you know, up, he was also breaking into niggas' houses through like exorcism? Is that what climbing through the TV was? Yo, I hate all you young people. I think y'all should have your own planet. I think y'all <laughs> should have your own little planet where y'all discuss all these things. And Danny, I got your little jerk joke. I heard that. But I had a question. What bro. joke? <laughs> if you're a rapper and you sign to some street dudes, does it automatically become friendly extortion if you're not also a street nigga? It's a great question. Oh, uh, no. Okay. But isn't the trick of extortion to not even know you're being extorted? Is it extortion if you don't know you're being extorted? 
I think no. I think so, bro. Because to a certain extent, it's like it's just a transaction. It's cool, bro. We friends or whatever. But like in the back of my mind, I know this nigga's gonna do what I want him to do, or we gonna take it there. He gonna make sure he put on that podcast who I want him to be on that podcast, or we gonna take it there. Now I'll never say we're gonna have to take it there. We'll keep it super light. We'll keep it super friendly. But in the back of my, you might not even know you're being extorted sometimes. Jameson, did the street niggas approach you with a with a three sixty? <laughs> of course not. All right, good, good. Protect your IP. I'll never forget. N- never mind. Good morning, slick the dick. Pause. Good morning. <laughs> what? You don't have to pause. To say, girl, yo, bro. what? <laughs> like what? I swear, I thought you was talking to Jameson, and I was like, all right, bro, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> No, but good morning, Joe. How are you? I'm really good. Why is your name Slick the Dick? Because I'm slick as hell, and I could be a dick sometimes. Oh, I was about to say, if she say I got a dick, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a piss woman. Okay, so you're slick, and you can be a dick sometimes. Yes, sir. Oh, I like that. Okay. All right, hey. answer my question. Hey, girl. Hi, how are you, love? Blessed, how are you? Dory, do you know her? No. Oh. I well, can't say mute up then. Hi. No. <laughs> don't say hi to nobody. Fine. Fine. Fuck nah, nah, nah. I don't like how you was coming for her talking about the gays. I am bisexual, so I got to stand for you. Woohoo! I got to stand for her. Oh, my God. Who is it? Jesus. Lucky you. Damn, we lost Slick the dick. Damn. She seems, she seems to have transitioned on to the gulag. It's I not, can't be the leaders of the gays when you know who I like. I like, don't know who you like. You know who I like. <laughs> we all know who Dory likes. Aaliyah? I don't again? Know who Dory likes. Again, Aaliyah? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> Good morning, Aaliyah. Good morning, Joe. Let me see. Are there any girls down there that like dick? <laughs> Wait. And like only dick? Can you we see? hear from y'all? You see? Wait a hear. minute, what happened? Yeah, hey, yeah, Lee, I'm on some new shit today. I'm, they pissed me off last night, so enough. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Trelly does. Trelly loves dick, so. Um, that is a crazy qualifier. <laughs> if you that's a dick, crazy qualification. Just if, you only love dick, <laughs> if you only love dick, raise your hand. <laughs> if you love dick, please wait. <laughs> So we can see it. If you're straight <laughs> only, raise yes. your hand. Not feet's waving, girl. Girl, feet's waving. <laughs> feet, you are like, the reason that's crazy. that Dory is not co-hosted now. <laughs> but that's entirely every, crazy. Every time I co-host Dory, the stage just turns full gay girl. That's not true. That is true. <laughs> It's See, but that's fun. fun. Let Aaliyah. it be gay sometimes. You yes, know, gay Dory. is fun sometimes. Aaliyah, as the court stenographer, you know that I was fighting Miss Niggas allegations, Space Honey allegations, yes or no? That is true. And so now you became Mrs. Sudden, Bitches? I woke up this but morning Dory and now sniping. I'm the leader of the gays. Two things <laughs> can be true, though. You are by Two things can be true. You can be Miss Niggas and Mrs. Bitches? Yeah, 100%. Hell yeah, you can. But he called me the leader of the gays, and he said it's only gay shit that be going on in my room, which is not Damn. Yeah, yeah y'all, y'all blew mine last night. It's over. You're raining. Oh, no, you were sleep you last something. night. I was, no, I was not sleep last night. night. Why do y'all keep saying that? I was wide awake. I had a phone call twice, and I was wide awake. Damn, you heard what was going on. That's, I heard that's what I'm all saying. That. <laughs> Every word sitting there Damn. with my mouth open. Like, what is going on in here? Like, but last there was a time. It was a time. There it wasn't was even gay shit going on. All I, it wasn't no gay shit going on. You know on, the gay it? shit that he's talking about, Leah? It's, it's me meeting feats. That's the gay shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> me well, meeting feats is gay. Well, I mean, it's I mean, it ain't straight. Oh my god. Whoa. It's a, it's a happy medium. There you we mean, go. You mean Sheets was gay. <laughs> y'all hyping that story like y'all had something to come back here and say that was enjoyable. That was that was a thing. So I'm sitting okay, there. 
I went and got my popcorn ready. I'm sitting at the edge of my seat. I'm thinking we getting two different versions. We getting the Dory version and the Feats version. Dory come with this, no, Feats come with this bullshit. I was looking for her. I looked in the sky. I was I was looking for someone whose head was above the sky. You know what? And then here comes Dory. I was looking for red hair. I was looking down. And then we met up. And then, oh my God. They're so beautiful. She's so beautiful. And then my friend said, and then I think she's gonna fuck my friend, and in the end. Like <laughs> yo, like what? <laughs> no, that's not what we're doing here, yo. I now kinda we, like the way no. Joe told that story. I yeah, no. Of course you did. Of course. We not I'm doing sorry. that. We need more patriarchy. We Thanks. need more dick. We need more straight Whoa, people. Oh. Yeah, Joe. Talk to him, Joe. Oh my God. Joe. Everyone mute now. Now, now everyone mute. Y'all know what I meant. <laughs> Let's not get carried away. <laughs> more men. We need more men. Pause. Jesus, man. You niggas always you always take it too far. I have a proposal to balance this out. I say me and Jameson meet up and just, you know, go to like a concert ourselves. I think that will allow us to. Um, Nigga, what? I, you don't want to. <laughs> no? I guess Danny's the male leader of the gays. Oh, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> what? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that shit sounds crazy as hell, dog. No, I'm Danny gonna... is the leader of. Uh, the 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 we work side. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing is that's how y'all see it. Uh, that that's the y'all the road. Somebody that's not from New York. Um, what is what is we work? The fuck is that? You don't remember we works at the crazy founder dog? It sounds like a cult. Nah, wait, y'all dead ass don't know what we work is. We no. works was the that was the real estate scam where that company was buying all of the buildings and instead of making them residential spaces, they were work and office spaces where everyone could come in from anywhere and just have an office and work together. Oh. Yeah, it was actually a very big company at a certain point, but then the founder was off his fucking rocker and he had this shorty with him who was also nuts and they uh, they crashed the shit. There's actually a great uh, Apple TV Watch, series about yeah, it. Yeah, y'all. Wait, Apple TV series? Yeah, yeah, we failed. Oh, I never saw it. I'm going to watch oh, that. Oh, bro, you got to check that shit out. I've they got seen Jared all Leto of the... and, uh I've Can't seen all the WeWork docs. If you haven't seen them, you should. There's one on Netflix, I think, that's really good, or Hulu. But I'm going to watch that. We failed. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, WeWork wasn't a regional thing. No, they were major. I love how you guys always snitch on yourselves. Oh, that was uh, some New York shit. What's that? <laughs> Joe, these niggas be fucking... They, these niggas don't have jobs. But that's a different conversation. Yo. Some what of you is, niggas, some of you that? niggas don't live by a Starbucks and it shows. Yeah, nigga, you gotta go across town for the whole thing. Oh <laughs> what? Some you guys you, are elitist. Some of you don't have like, a what? Target near your home and it shows. Some of y'all oh niggas God. shop at Aldi's. <laughs> Okay. You have to put the, <laughs> wait, wait, what's that shit y'all be doing? Putting the quarter into the uh, shopping basket so they make sure y'all niggas don't steal the shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is some real affluent Negro shit. Yeah. No. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying whatever Jameson is saying. <laughs> okay. I'm saying, be broke. <laughs> I'm saying there's a few of y'all that have to drive really, really, really far for an Apple store. <laughs> some no, can't drive. Like two minutes. It's not that far. No, but for some of you, it's about an hour away. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm saying the closest chicken shop is closer than you know the closest juice bar. But wait, Jameson, where you live again? Chicago. Yeah. But the good part of Chicago. Yeah. Um, uh, not the trenches. Okay. Just check. <laughs> he cleared that up fast. Not the trenches. <laughs> I don't even visit my family there. Them niggas gotta come see me. I'm inviting another woman up here. Levita, good morning. Hi. Hi, Levita. Uh, mm. Oh, listen, Jojo, before you. Yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Damn, I keep telling y'all that's not the space that we run in today. God, wait, wait, damn. Hold up. No no, 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 no. That's not that's not that what we're so doing. Not nice. <laughs> what, Joe, are you stealing my space style, bro? Y'all yeah. have to follow the rules. No, I'm not oh, stealing your space style. Hi. That Joe knows what she did. One more time, Joe. I'm so just 
just you, don't say nothing. To no, that's not true. I have a question. You could say, wait, hold up, Danny. Uh, Dory, you could say hello to anyone that comes on the stage, but that little bisexual hi. Oh, my God. I can hear it. That's how been, we be feeling. I've been around for a long time. Bisexual high is crazy. Bisexual you think I can high hear is it? Nasty. I can hear it. They probably... It was gentle. It Wait, was welcoming. Be before Dory even said hi to her, <laughs> I was about to because she came on with the voice. <laughs> she came on with the voice. At home. <laughs> I know the voices, goddamn it. Y'all not before playing. Before you let her on, I was gonna ask, does she only like dick? <laughs> but you didn't let me ask. All right, all right, let me bring it up. Wait, hold up. Wait, slick the dick. First of all, <laughs> no, we're giving you, like, a, we're giving you a pass like, being up here. Like, how did you get up here? The, why can't we dibble and dabble? Like, come on. Life These are Joe short. rules. I ain't saying. Oh, it. no, wait. Slick the dick. Yeah. 100% can dibble and dabble. Uh, Actually, the bi girls are my favorite girls. Fuck however, fuck? however, <laughs> however, <laughs> however. This is about variables, right? Mm. All it takes is one lesbian in a pack of bisexual girls for them to forget about penis. <laughs> Not too much. <laughs> All it takes is one. I mean, there's some other variables that go on in the girl on girl groups. And I'm familiar with all of them. I'm familiar with the stud girl that feels like she's in competition with the straight niggas. <laughs> that's a thing. That's a real thing. No, that's a real thing. No, all of this, these things are things. Uh, I'm familiar with the girl that likes dick until there's a bunch of bi girls around. Now she swings a little more that way because girls pander to each other. That's a thing. Like there's a lot of chem tests <laughs> that you have to observe. Wow. So, so my issue is not bisexual women. And this is all facetious if you're in the audience and you're unfamiliar. No, I love this it. Is very facetious. Yeah. This is all facetious. But except the you know the lesbian that wants to compete with niggas. That shit is too. I know too many of them. So I'll invite her back up if you wanna if you wanna uh interrogate her about her lifestyle. I'll um, you know, interrogate. <laughs> I thought we were just talking. But yeah, let's let's invite her. Oh, slick the dick like her. Let me mute up. <laughs> <laughs> My heart is beating so fast. Not your heart beating triple time. It is Joe. Oh my God. Dory. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'll set up. I'll set up. Holy shit. I know, Dory, don't speak. Please. Yo, what is wrong with this bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I said one little thing, but whatever. You can't. Don't say. I'm scared. Hey, slick the dick. He's Why are you begging. on mute? <laughs> Shit, the girl, <laughs> stop. <laughs> That's I'm trying not to laugh, but it's so funny. <laughs> Joe, good morning. Joe, this doesn't feel like the medium. This feels like the low. Like, I don't I don't like it. <laughs> I'm no, strict. It's the medium. It is the medium. Okay, can we? Okay, because I'm strictly dickly, although I haven't had dick since dick had me. So Ooh. I don't know what that means. Oh, but sorry. I was about to ask. It means you're ready for a female experience. You're trying to confuse us, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, the last time I had dick, I got pregnant. So no, I have oh, a kid. Oh, I have a oh my god! <laughs> oh, right. oh, you wanted those. <laughs> Mom, too, that's so I'm, tra I'm traumatized. Oh, <laughs> I'm no, just be smart. <laughs> Get that next one on, girl, and be smart, baby. That's all you got. Oh. Girl, there will not be another. So, oh, I, no. Same, no, same. Love my son forever. I don't. Yeah. Have kids by anybody else just to say, oh, we can make more beautiful babies. No, baby. No, 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 no. So tired. Thank God I had a C-section and I still look good. Thank God. Same. Oh my God. Same. Can we get off the pregnancy I, talk? Guys? Oh my God. Okay. Sh sorry. <laughs> okay. 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 I muted everyone because just as I feared, <laughs> when you get these women together, you start to hear things like C-section. <laughs> like, <laughs> all right. This is the happy medium space that means 
anything that only relates to you bitches, <laughs> save that for Thursdays. And even that's me putting it kindly, because in case y'all forgot, it's fucking Super Bowl Sunday, all right? Y'all really should be up at the supermarket right, right now. <laughs> Yeah, really. Oh, Joe. It's Ursher Day by no. the fucking patriarchy. Yes. <laughs> I hate it here. I hate it here so much. Please, <laughs> ladies, please what? mute up and let's talk about Joe Rogan. Go ahead. Do you yeah. y'all know how to cook? Yeah, ladies, mute up. I hear you fucking right now. Don't be disrespectful, Jameson. Definitely. Oh, you know who I am, Amelia? Nice double cheeseburgers. <laughs> yes. Anyway, Danny, you were saying before they started talking about C-sections and children. I was actually going to ask, uh, this was a minute ago, but Jameson said he had a space style, and I was wondering what that was. Oh, um, me too. Um, <laughs> muting, the, muting the ones around me, centering it all around me and my ego. Um, I would say very much like me and my, very much similar to my, men oh. Well, I guess not my mentor, but oh, um, yeah, very similar to maybe like an ex, like a immature version of the Joe Bunnett style. Hey, Except you know, it's not somebody, all about dick and pussy over here. Calling somebody your mentor and saying not your mentor is that a form of dick riding? Because it seemed like dick riding to me. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, I, I guess it was. I, I, I mean, I don't it. want to insult uh, Jameson, but I've always felt weird about um how you seek out mentorship. Yeah, nigga, I know you've been very vocal about it, Danny, for months. Yes. Wait, really? Because I, I agree, and I never had this talk with Danny at all. No, I've always, uh, just because I, I grew up around when I was younger, a lot of people seeking out mentorship, and it never really, young people, and it never really worked out for them. So Yeah, bro. I, what you were saying, I realized you were right. I don't need mentorship. Let's fuck these old niggas. We taking over. I actually like Nick Cannon's advice about mentorship. I thought he gave out really... Oh, when he My said bad. That. I'm not up to date on Nick Cannon's perspective on things. Maybe you should. He's very successful. But um, Nick Cannon basically said, "Just get popping, and then ask for mentorship, and then you have a different discussion." Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, Interesting. you just gave me an idea. I want to hear more of that in my in my Danny videos. I want to hear more about my success stories. What? Are you trying to infiltrate me? Like what No, 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 because you already got a theory with that, and I'm not one of them. Please, <laughs> to do what you want. <laughs> I do not want to manipulate you. want me to be content. like, uh, I'm trying to think of, let's talk about the success story, what, the, the podcast, the um, everyday struggle, a lot of people try to copy that show. Um, what else? If, what, if, if, you, if you sit and think hard enough, you can come up with a few. Come on, I don't, I'm not telling you to do it. I'm not telling you to do it. I think <laughs> you're good at interviewing. I'm not telling you that. To connect I don't agree with that. With that. I don't yeah, no, that. Joe's interview style is horrible. Yeah, I, I think. Wait, Joe, what? Joe's I don't think at... anyone likes Joe by the interviews. Wait, what? Wait, what? Medium. Turn that up. Actually, what's not... the discourse on that? I don't. I don't. I don't yeah, like no, that. not anybody who actually be consuming the content fucks with Joe's interviews. It's a common thing. That's like his that's weakest not point. True. <laughs> no, Wait, I mean, I, that's I, not can I, I, can I? Can I? I, I don't I like when he interviews it. people of the industry, but when he interviews like podcasters, it's his best work. Like when he interviewed Jesus and Mer not Mero, uh, Deep Mero, and he interviewed Adam Twenty Two, he got yeah swept. okay yeah I can go on that. I definitely like those both those. But the Lloyd Banks, nah nah. So when he said my chill, I guess it's because he is a king in that space it's like a podcast, so it's easier for him to talk about it i guess yeah you know what I'm saying? I'm it's nah he's he's less enamored like i remember even with everyday struggle the fucking jeezy interview oh my god how many bricks did you sell like experience and joe does so when you're being interviewed by somebody that has experience it's kind of settling and you're able to really like you know give a proper interview i don't know i don't know man rogan be interviewing yes. people and when he interviewed presidents and elon musk he sounds like fine his inability to ask a, not even inability let me take that back his refusal to ask like maybe a tough question that might make shit awkward is really there are no it, it's just so fucking cookie cutter and i feel like that's exactly the opposite of what we go to joe for yeah like you could get a joe but an interview whatever bro you might as well put fucking angela e in that seat dog oh my god wow 
That's Aaliyah. Great, oh, wait, wait, hold up. You said Joe's yes. just hilarious? <laughs> what, do you, what do you have to add to this beautiful conversation that's being had right now? I'm not going to say nothing. Stu, <laughs> um, please give us some insights on this beautiful conversation that we're having right now. Imagine him interviewing Cat Williams. Cat Williams. See, bro, Williams. that interview would have never come out the same way the Tasha K interview never came out. I actually just recorded a video about how there are no black pl platforms that push the limits for the simple fact these niggas. Listen, Cat might not even no drink. If crazy. Joe's giving him an interview, you know what I'm saying? He might. It just feels like the medium is so far off now. For that interview. Joe would have created a $50 tier and said, hey. Bro, that's just not it's coming out. You can't talk You can't talk crazy about other motherfuckers on Joe's platform. Bro. It's all about the relationship. It's all about the wanting to take the picture and the, behind the grass, the green. It's, man, it's Why is that a bad thing, though? It's not. It's his business model. It's just disappointing. <laughs> Why are you speaking for him like he's not right here? <laughs> I was oh just God. about to say that. That is the wildest <laughs> shit. I have just been over here like the medium is far gone now. <laughs> right. well, I, think, um, I think Joe's listening to see what we say jameson why are you speaking for him when he's right here no i'm not i'm not listening to hear what you guys say <laughs> i'm aware okay. that there's a really small committee that's been running with this narrative for a little while so i'm just trying to let the storm pass you know like when you see a rat like you just want to stand still just let it go on about its business <laughs> and, then you'll, <laughs> and then you'll continue walking like i'm letting this really <laughs> nasty dusty wind pass <laughs> so, so that we can continue yeah let it the, yeah can we continue but but, but i do want y'all to get y'all shit off i'm not stepping on shit like i can be i can be cooked in here i can be cooked in my space can i say lavita alizé jenkins i really love your twitter name you know, I no, 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 <laughs> Damn, it's strict around this bitch. I'm just yeah. I'm just oh, my, yeah, no, my shit is way stricter than uh Dory shit. All right, yeah. I'm just gonna strict up. I, I, I'm, my strike count is wild. <laughs> I'm just gonna mute up. This Dory life. strike one was strike three the other day. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> what is but, it? Does does it reset? Number... <laughs> Okay. Yeah, does no. it ever reset? <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Like <laughs> once you get to strike three, every strike after is three as well. This is damn. Okay. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. It's structure, you guys. We gotta gotta get the program. Free us. <laughs> free us, please. <laughs> please free me. I'm always needing to be free. That's fucked up. Because Aaliyah, Aaliyah. <laughs> What I be doing, Dory? You know what you be doing. <laughs> easy, easy. Yo, whoa, whoa. Was that in, inside jokes between women? <laughs> oh my God. Wait. Always not jokes. It wouldn't be an inside joke. Either. Exactly. Could you be an autumn space? She literally like just knows shit, and then she'll just say it like. <laughs> Come off mute and just be like, did anybody else catch the fact that Dory? I'm like, what the hell? Nobody caught that except for you. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Back to Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. I was yeah. about to say, was that enough Joe Rogan for you, Danny? Or we, we need some more? I think we should talk about Dan Levitard now. Ooh. I love Dan Levitard. Oh, oh, I didn't know you would go there. Nah, I, I just made that. I would just talk about every podcaster. Uh, Colin Cowherd, uh, Charlemagne, Flip. Let's talk about all of them. Uh, all right. Give me your best take about any of them. What's going on with Flip, man? It's getting weird. Expound. That nigga well, been talking to himself and arguing with himself on this bitch for like four days now. Yeah. It's good, like real Travis nobody. Bickle, sorry. You know who Travis Bickle is, Joe? And it's all no. your fault. It's taxi driver, bro. I'm also unaware of all of these things that maybe y'all have seen. I have not. I could pull up clips. I have a soundboard. He was, um, I think uh, there's thing he was saying where he was like, 
you know, you go viral by talking about other people. That was kind of interesting, even though it could be COE, but... It, I'm about to say, why y'all don't never look at none of that like COE? He was about to fight one of the fans, Joe. No, he's never going to fight one of the fans. Like, what? that's what I mean. Like, at, But he's done it before. At what, at what point are y'all... He's never done that before as a podcast member. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a qualifier. Well, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm not... I don't start his slate at... Y'all y'all do that shit too much where somebody do that shit anytime in their life and that's just the fucking mistletoe forever now. No, that's not... We're not doing that. I don't start him. I start him as a pod member. So, no, I don't think that Flip is going to fight any of you, Danny, the same way I don't think Amani is going to fight any of you. Some of y'all, at some point, that's really what my town hall was going to get to the bottom of. Some of y'all fans and the fan-made narrative and fan-made emotions and the interpretation and just y'all's level of investment in some of it, you have to be responsible for. And I don't think there's enough of that going around. And I think that I've heard each podcast member now, maybe with the exception of, no, I've heard it from, no, I've heard it from them all, except for maybe Park. No, I've heard it from him too. I think I've heard it differently from everybody that, or them try to say that, yes, yeah, some of the fans, some of the fans' investment is, you know, that's what the thing in the in the front is for. But y'all don't even care about that thing in the front because fuck that. Right? <laughs> See? Hello? Yeah, no, I, I, but I mean, you've created a fishbowl, Joe, right? Where you kind of promote the inner conflicts of the show. And it is part of the ethos, the fabric that sets you apart from many of your competitors in the space. And fans are going to comment on that. And um, sometimes the fans be right. Okay, but why doesn't it stop there? If that's, if that's true. I'm not I'm not against that, but if sometimes if some if the fans are invested and sometimes they be right, then why wouldn't that just be the end of it? I'm I'm struggling to understand how this correlates to the back and forth flip had with the fans saying trying to meet up with them saying it's gonna be this asshole type of shit. No, I'm, that I'm speaking to the belief that I've heard a few times now that any member of this podcast is going to put a hand on a fan of a podcast. <laughs> Keep, when you I, say I, I know where you I live at and I know that. what you look I keep, like. I don't care about, I, I was there. You don't have to say it. I was there. I heard it. I know what it means. I know what it can mean. I know what he was trying to say. I've heard that throughout life. This is not a new thing for me. I'm still saying, Amani is not putting his hands on none of y'all. Like, I'm talking about the mind. I'm talking about the mind that believes that. I, at I don't, some point, I don't on nobody. at some point, that brain got to be called to the stand. And I've heard that too much now. I've heard some other narratives that I won't speak on because some of y'all have become a little too familiar. I've given that rant before up here. But, but when people respond to y'all getting too familiar, then corporate rules are back in effect. Louder. And now... And now, oh my God, how could he? Why would he say that? He's emotional. He's mm. sensitive. He's a bitch ass nigga. Fire him. He's ruining the merit. He's wilding out. He's cursing that dog. Hey, miss me with miss me. Keep miss it. Me. Keep miss it. Me. Joe, miss where me. do you where do you think that this kind of sense of entitlement and famili familiarity comes from? Because it is weird and when you look into the comments you do see it a lot but i don't think it's uh particular to you guys i think that's kind of part of stan fan culture as it exists right now but specific to your fan base where do you think it comes from well soldiers rewind a little bit yeah because i want to agree with some of that but i think what i'm talking about right now to, to my knowledge is pretty specific to my this podcast i don't really see i don't really see too many other podcasts fans and communities let's maneuver go about things the way the way that we do over here you kind of set yourself up for that though joe because like you you kind of put a battery in these niggas backs by like who's these niggas be i want to be clear 
these niggas. Honestly, Jameson and this nigga Danny. They're all. Whoa, how, wait, like, how is Jameson? In I'm not Jameson. Please yet. don't interrupt him. Word. It's these niggas that be in these spaces that are just like the same niggas that were like calling out male, being super misogynistic, or fucking calling out fucking Amani. That's for, not. That's not what I do. Uh, I've, that's I'm not, not what I do. Please Danny. don't interrupt. Wrong man is speaking. Relax. It's fine, but that's not what I do. These niggas just be too deep in, and I feel like you giving them a platform most of the time is kind of what's putting the battery in their back. So if, if it, when you acknowledge them, it makes them feel like, oh, okay, Joe's okay with this, so I can say whatever I want to. And these niggas just be too deep in. That's that's just the facts. <laughs> like these niggas, they need fathers, and you are their dad. All right, let's try to have this yeah. conversation. Oh boy, being offensive or disrespectful. Oh. Okay. Uh, this, Can't is count still, smoke first this, this is still Super Bowl Sunday, and <laughs> it's still a vibe in here. I'm allowing yeah, okay. it. I'm allowing it to go a little far on the nerd side, but I'm I'm cool. I'm fine with it. Can I go but first, Jeff? Let's be respectful of each other, please. All right, uh, the dragon. I've never said anything crazy about Mel. Um, I actually don't think the only time I took it too far is when I joked on Amani for being broke. And I really don't think people's problem was with the fact that I was calling him broke. I think it was the time in which I was doing it and which he was grieving. That was the real problem. I'm n this whole looping me into this whole, oh, these BD niggas who do one, two, three just isn't true. Even the whole fucking mentorship shit is, it's a shtick. It's a, it's getting a reaction. It's like, I know Joe's not my actual fucking mentor. Like, Y'all, y'all have it misconstrued. Y'all be having it fucked up. Y'all don't be knowing what reality versus entertainment. You get what I'm saying? Degenerate. And for real, for real, you're not even deep enough in this. I've not really, my, I host spaces now and they're not about Joe. I try to keep it as far away from Joe. I don't be doing Joe, sp Joe centered spaces anymore. The only time I talk about mm -hmm. Joe's space is when I'm in Joe's space. So you okay. really don't know what you're talking about. And you seeing in front of 500 people trying to paint me in a, uh, in a light that's not accurate, dog. That's the weird shit. That's the too comfortable shit. That's the too personal shit, my nigga. Because you wouldn't that. do that. Do you, you wouldn't. All right. Do you, do you acknowledge? Do you acknowledge the fact that not only you, I was, and I just say y'all too, because y'all are the ones that are up here. Um, but both of y'all also. The reason why I said y'all is because y'all have made careers, quote unquote, or platforms just centered around. No, I haven't. Riding, no, I haven't, bro. I talk word. about black media. I talk about all black media, bro. Most of my most of my my worst performing videos are about Joe. For real, for real, if I'm being honest with you. The reason why people know you is from Joe Budden spaces and the Joe Budden community. Bro, I About, average 2,000. Why are we being purposely? Degenerate. I average 2,000 views on a video. I, most of those, maybe 60 of them come from the fucking um, spaces, dog. You don't know what you're talking about I'm yet. The start you're, of you bro, bro, making hold videos. Up, bro. Is, bro, are is, you a content creator, dog? No. So, bro, again, you're a fan. You're a nigga who, who thinks they, that they know some shit. When really, in reality, bro, you're you're the one dick riding right now, bro. If we being all the way honest with you, because you don't know what you're talking about, bro. Do you make any type of content, degenerate? Like any music? I make music. I make beats and shit. But that's about it. I got it. But once again, um, Jameson, to respond to you, you you acknowledging now, currently in this current moment, that you don't make videos or your videos are at least performing our Joe's. The reason why people even know your name, know who you are, is because of the Joe Button community. That's not true. The reason people know who I wait on what platform, dog? Are you talking about on Twitter? I don't want this to turn into you guys exchanging personal. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let yeah. Please. Let's let's clip it here. Well, I was. I was, Joe, I was let me let me just finish, something? Danny. Let let me just finish my point. You got here. it, big dog. When Jameson, Jameson, check. Nah, I peeped. When you talk about getting too comfortable. It's, I don't, I don't think the fans are the ones who have gotten too comfortable here. I think, but I think the people on the podcast interacted on a fan level and stopped and expected a certain reverence. And once they didn't get that reverence, they started pouting. That's, I cap. that's, that's, cap. that's, the, not, that's what I'm, I'm saying. Not, that's, see, that's what I mean. The brain that comes up with that, like, I think you're deflecting. I think what you're saying is a good way to dodge accountability. That's what I think. I can name numerous examples of fans being too comfortable and familiar. 
And you may not know because you just got around, but that line don't even work on me. I allow anybody to say anything in the fucking universe that they want to say. I don't even have no beef with Danny. I let I'm just talking about my personal jokes. experience. I let all, all, I let way too much fly. Are you, are you shitting me? I'm the most accessible nigga in the universe here. So that line, that no, that don't, that's, that's a crock of shit. That's a crock of shit. Well, I think um, there's been other shows where the fans get really involved, and give I mean, them to me. I think the Dan Levitard has a the show has a culture. Oh, yo, don't yo, hey, hey, this is a black space, Danny. I know that some of y'all. No, but I, <laughs> okay, some I of mean, y'all, there is well, no. I'm not. I'm. There is no white was, metric that you can speak to me about right now. I need black point points wax, of reference. Remember when Wax left? Um, brilliant idiots and everybody's like where's wax where's wax did wax i don't know i'm just bringing this up because that wasn't there did, did something happen with him and his girl um did he I, uh i want to that... reply to that because i like that point go ahead there was never there was never confirmation or closure to wax leaving the show <laughs> which left runway for everybody to come up with reasons and theories as to why he left that show that was never addressed. It was dodged. Nothing is ever dodged on this show. I would say it's reframed and you address it in a way, but there's still theories that are still a mist. So that's back to my dodging accountability point. So things are addressed, but because of the way they're addressed, you think that the, all the wax shit can fly. You well, think I mean, it's the like, same. I don't think it's the same. Like if you say like, Let's just, this is an example. I'm not here to relitigate the whole thing. But if you say something like, oh, I'm not going to show the accounting because I'm hurt, people are going to theorize about that because you've already created a culture of the show where people are talking about contracts and culture and all that stuff. So, yes, you've addressed it, but it's not going to end there because it's out in the ether. Uh, and I don't because have, I don't, he didn't I don't. address it the way you wanted him to, <laughs> yeah, I'm about y'all to say. get to speculate. No, it's not. The, I'm, I don't want to speak for everybody, but um, that is something that could happen. People are going to theorize. People are going to talk about it. People are going to react to it, Danny. But um, even that's my point, right? I like the, I like the points that you're bringing up. Actually, even that is speaking to what I'm trying to say. What other business owner in the world is showing? anything about anything publicly they have in full out wars in the supreme court about what information should be shared and what shouldn't be shared what the fuck do you niggas be talking about and to that i say you've greatly profited off of that fishbowl style of podcasting and now this wait is no the... no i didn't say nothing about a style of podcasting just now don't deflect don't no, i'm deflect. telling you I'm, I'm laying my shit out. That's all. Oh, well, then let me shut up and let you finish. No, I'm laying my shit out uh, to quote um, the, the man in uh, American Gas. Your success took a shot at you, Joe. What are you going to do? Become unsuccessful? Like, this is kind of what comes with is why you're the still the dominant player. Not still. I don't want to say that's the only reason because that's that would be messed up. But it's one of the reasons that people are so fanned out about your show because people really feel like they be in the room People, they don't, that's not what happens with million dollars worth of game. That's not what happened with drink champs. Um, and, but this is one of the byproducts of that. That don't make it right though. Just because like y'all see this style of podcast and don't mean y'all jump out the window and theorize or come up with your own conclusions or tell no. people that are living this shit, how they think about shit. That's what I acknowledge that the, that not just you, but most of you niggas do. It's just, I mean, Hey, I, I watch this podcast every day fucking two hours for every day so i know these people i know how they think i know how they breathe it's weird it's, it's weird it's not really i mean it's just another subset of fan base that you probably don't understand but that have just as much to say at the dinner table as you and just because you have your certain sensibilities that make it look weird to you doesn't mean that they don't have valid things to bring to the table Coming up with a theory on something you don't know because you think you know what this person thinks is fucking weird, bro. There's nothing no. you can say to make that not weird. No, I could not know these niggas. No, because 
I mean, people talk about media. This is media. This is playing out in front of our eyes. So when people talk about beef between Eric Spolster and LeBron James back in the day, and that they don't know LeBron James and Eric Spolster, but there's something that played out in front of our eyes that's open to the discourse. That's usually rooted in at least some sort of fact because they have sources on the inside. You don't have any source. You don't know any of these people. You're just coming up with your own conclusions in your brain and being like, okay, this is what it is. No, what we do is have... We, we might have more than in the instance of LeBron James and Eric Spolster because we're seeing thousands of hours of content and certain behaviors cannot be masked. On an entertainment podcast, it, they literally say at the beginning of the show, this is not fucking real. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, y'all niggas take everything they say as fact. And like, no, we don't. We don't. Believe. Jameson no. doesn't do that. I don't do that. Um, we, we often I say go through with your videos right now, just your titles alone. And they're all, I mean, titles are, wait, well, all right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me, let me mute this for a second because y'all can do that some other time. My conversation isn't about putting Danny or any other, uh, any other YouTube critiquer or content creator on trial. I totally understand the business that ensues from the pot or businesses that are birthed. I understand the different styles, the different techniques. I've been around. I totally get it. So your view on whether it's weird or not, let that be your own. It is a thing. The little table that Danny is talking about, it is a table. But to that point, Danny, it's the table of the new kids. It's all your cousins that was fucking as a teenager that had kids. So now when they come over, like, it's the new little table. That's the table that you're referring to. That table ain't just always been here. And even that is speaking to my point. Some of these things that y'all think are normal standards and practices are not, such as your accounting theory that you love. That is a fan myth. That is a the ghost ghost theory and myth that y'all niggas have cooked cooked for years and baked and profited from and theorized and therapized to death. When the truth of the matter is, who the fuck would be showing their accounting anywhere? Like it's just as simple as that. Like sometimes, sometimes the truth is just fast. And don't need to be unpacked. Cause nothing to explain. Sometimes when the adult says something, <laughs> that's the end of it. This new era of logic talking to his father that way. And kids just no. I'm unmuting now. But yeah, that accountant shit, like just call it what it is. It was self-serving for many of you for many reasons. Uh it was fun. It was messy. It was all of those things that we hate to see when we look in the mirror, but they exist. What y'all be putting too? Y'all be putting too much, too much, uh, too much on my plate. Where does that come from, though, Joe? I, Niggas didn't just make up the accounting shit. Wherever it comes from, hey, this every day there's somebody somewhere that has a problem with some accounting. Come on, bro. You there's ducking, nothing man. wrong with having a problem. I'm not ducking. I'm talking. There's nothing wrong with having a problem with accounting. I want to be very clear. That's fine. I'm speaking to, and you continue to deflect, I'm speaking to your belief that somebody somewhere should publicly show accounting, no matter what said. Well, it said that too. That's my point. Motherfuckers be making points on podcasts. What does that have to do with you saying, I'm not saying you specifically, but anybody out there that believes that. It's just my friend for 20 plus years. He could say whatever the fuck he wants to say. Because once he stops saying it behind the scenes, it then comes from public consumption. And then I'm now yeah. able to make my theories, make my content off of that. The same way behind the scenes shit, like let's say a Megan Thee Stallion contract becomes public, and then y'all talk about it. If we were talking about rappers, nobody would have a problem with this shit. It's the fact that it's Jameson, content. There is no, there is no topic that I cover for three and four years straight. That's just not true. That's simply not you true. You didn't cover the Meg Tory trial for three, four years? No. It didn't even last three, four years. 
It lasted a long time, maybe. Yeah, two, come three. on, y'all. Like we get into the semantics of it. Semantics like, of on, it, but, but I think y'all are getting into the semantics of just y'all watching and enjoying the podcast. I don't think I think y'all are like they're not addressing the shit. I'm saying That's exactly. Y'all are I'm trying to address it, bro. I feel like I have. I don't know what. I'm saying if these were if these guys weren't podcasters, if they was rappers, nothing would be a problem. I really what don't see do shit we do them? differently than the Joe Budden podcast. It's just what we're covering just happens to be podcast. Literally, that's fundamentally the only difference. And y'all niggas feel an attachment for real, for real. Y'all too comfortable with us, if you're gonna be honest. Not the podcasters, I'm talking about the fans. The fans feel like they you're talking about, oh, that's your father. No, nigga, that's your daddy. You riding yeah, for niggas that you a, don't know. You, you said a narrative, man. Y'all was talking crazy about Joe. That's oh my fact. God. Like, come there's on, a certain, There's a certain subset of those types of fans that feel shooting at me and Jameson is like Kate, like, or protecting Joe or some shit. That I've seen because that. the nigga says your name and your Abby is next to his, so you feel, no, Joe knows me. That's this, is, this is not that. Come on, you're trying to make it, it, that it probably to, is. to deflect once again. I, and once again, yeah, it's I, a I, lot, I, it is a lot maybe, of deflection. I ain't maybe, gonna lie. maybe I need to apologize to y'all me, but I said personally, because I, like I said, y'all two were the ones I directed this to because y'all are up here. So I can't go into every fucking, the whole community and just say that. So if y'all felt disrespected, I apologize. But that still does not deflect from what I'm saying. What is your point, Degenerate? <laughs> y'all are too deep in. You're too deep in. You don't have to watch. You don't have to engage. Like, I don't, I don't I watch am built... any, either of y'all's content. You don't even have to comment. <laughs> Question. When you see Stephen A. Smith on ESPN, is he, is he too deep in? He's going to say he's a journalist. He's this and that. That's what he's going to say. Like, come on. There's, the, what I'm trying to say is... Okay. I've heard enough. I've heard enough. I have. When you see Stephen A. Smith, holy shit. See, I, y'all don't even hear it. <laughs> y'all don't even fucking... Y'all don't even hear it, man. This was a happy medium space. I'll take accountability for allowing it to go too far to one side. There was not one word said by a bisexual woman just now. I I just can't even put it on their shoulders. That was all the we work side. And I'm, I, I let it rock, I did. Hey, in my heart, I'm a weak, I got a lot of we work nigga in me. Like, I'm kind of one of them. I'm just one of y'all, too. Because of the streets. <laughs> so we all going to have to learn how to coexist and get along and have different viewpoints and different opinions, different ways of life, without attacking anyone, without making it personal. That's the, that is the main point here in the Mistake Town Hall. Nothing, absolutely nothing here has to be personal. And if you decide to get personal with someone, then that's on you. I don't think that should be a community thing. I think that should be up to everyone's own discernment. But Jesus... All right, I'm gonna hit the unmute button. I guess if the bi girls wanna do some bisexual shit for 10 minutes, then it's fine. And you could have brought feet up and let me and Dory and Feet get our shit off for that. <laughs> no, it's true. I wanna thank you for saying, you know, it wasn't our fault this time. Um, once we mentioned Joe Rogan, you know, shit went left. Um, I got scared. I was shivering and shivering in my corner. I said it was a black space and they kept naming white men. Baby, it got real, real white, real white and real quick. So, you know, I'm, um, I'm, I'm still here. It's still love. Jameson, I love you. You know, Danny, <laughs> don't love you. Slick we gang, you know that. You know, but hey, let's just, it's Sunday. Salute, salute. I'm just ready for Usher, you know? That's all. I have nothing but pure fiery hate in my heart for what just happened, but I can't say that. So it was nerd time. 
<laughs> you, you, it's Revenge of the Nerds that you're trying to be this fraternity wet head. Right here. Yeah, I'm with Dory. I'm Dory, with I'm with, with you. Dory, I'm say, no, I'm gonna... I ain't going to lie. I know I'm you are. Saying. I know you are. That's why I just shut up. You know what it is, Jameson. I love you. Gang. I apologize to everyone involved. I appreciated hearing your perspectives, Degenerate Feminist. Y'all heard my passion. Click the link in bio. Check out the YouTube guys. Come on. Don't Please. watch me. That's not a strike. What are we doing? Damn, Aaliyah, you the feds? Yeah, <laughs> I'm <that> telling was... <laughs> y'all. Seems, hey, like, seems like we've oh, lost the game for a second. Ian's here now, man. That's the WeWork guy. <laughs> Not, but I don't bring Ian up in my space. Oh man! Every time I see Ian, I'll be happy. Like, oh my god! I know, Ian's cause here. that's your man. That's my man. That's your man. I know. I peep it. Ian ain't about to come up here and we work us out. Oh my god! If he was here during that last little thing we had, it would have been over for you, Joe. We would have had you, <laughs> and we already did. But anyway, let me not go back to that. Another one of y'all little fan narratives <laughs> about back to Dreamville. <laughs> Yes, back to fun. Ooh, ooh, fun. I love it. I just want to know when did everybody start being bisexual? But since birth, hun. Um, really, it was the girls that I liked originally. And then in middle school, it was this guy. And he was able to make his thing jump. And it really surprised me. Yo, 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 yo. All right, all right, all right. I don't know what y'all think is going on on Super Bowl Sunday. That was not the proper response to the nerd shit. What the hell? Unmute this thing. I'm sorry, but for you're the going crazy on Super Bowl Sunday. I would just like to point out that I didn't do a damn thing. Once again, he made he his thing jump. She asked the question, and I guess she wanted the people that be outside to answer. So yes, I am. For real, a bisexual love. That's all love. Everything also, changed when Nicki Minaj bisexual. came out. And your name being Wet Heat does enough without you even speaking, Dory. Okay? <laughs> like, you don't even have to fucking talk. I'm just a girl. She knows it. Wet Heat is hot. I'm sorry. Isn't it? It is. We'll consider All right. Yep. And that concludes our bisexual girl segment. Yep. Bad. <laughs> Back to Super Bowl Sunday, tossing it to you, Marv. Yeah, the fuck? What do y'all think this is? Yeah, all right. Well, it's almost one o'clock anyway. Good. This is, this is so <laughs> what do, you, do you think show. the Usher Bowl is going to be what you guys anticipate? You think he's going to play Oh My God? Do you not want him to play Oh My God? He's definitely playing Oh My God. He better, he he better play, play Oh My God. Oh, my God. Definitely. oh my God, it's happening. Oh I'm my god, if it doesn't happen, happen, white people will explode. Dory will explode. The fuck? Yeah, I, like people I like that. Song. Yeah, white people will be happy. That Am I the only one crazy. looking for climax? I love climax. Yes. Oh my god. That's way too slow to play at the Super Bowl. I don't I mean, know. I feel like sometimes in the Super Bowl, when they get in the middle of their little routine, they hit you with the throwback slow jams. I'm, I, but I think no, they the be mixing it too to where it's like boot. almost sped up. So it's not like as so like even if he plays right. like, do my not way and shit like that. that, like they speed it up so it's not so like, you know, slow. They Weekend not. uh played weak wicked games for a little bit, right? So I think you can get that off. That at least he did the Super Bowl? Thing. Yeah, it was the COVID Super Bowl. Oh. But yeah, he already performed Oh My God with uh, Will I Am. That was like 2008, I think, when the Black Eyed Peas performed at Super Bowl. This should have been the nigga bowl, but it's okay. Facts. Big Lamar got to come back next year and do better. Facts. Go Chiefs. Okay, Dory. you guys, so Usher negotiated 15 minutes for his show as opposed to the normal 11 to 13 minutes that most Super Bowl halftimes get. Who do y'all think that he is bringing with him. Alicia Keys and Justin Bieber. Justin, I, I don't, don't know why Alicia Keys. Uh, why I don't, don't want Alicia. Bieber. <laughs> I think he just mentioned Alicia and he's going to have Bieber also, but he couldn't announce the big person that's really coming. I Who think he's going to bring out Ludacris and Lil Jon, and yes. I will be so happy. Yes, for lovers and friends, yes. Or, yeah. Yeah, he'll, he'll yeah. he's definitely not doing lovers and friends. Oh. <laughs> lovers and friends will not be heard tonight. <laughs> not happening tonight. I really hate that y'all trying to act. Watch, wait till he do it. 
I want to hear my sorry. Lovers and, and Friends is my favorite Usher song, but I know it's not getting played. Okay. Why? Why I don't think he won't play it? And why is that your favorite enough. Usher song? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> That's not a bad choice for it to be your favorite. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? That's a great song. It is a great song. Maybe it, maybe he just resonates oh, with what the song this a lot. Day, this the Atlanta part of the space is talking. All right. You heard? I'm not I'm even from Rome. Atlanta. I'm in North Carolina. I'm oh, from I am from Atlanta. Same I shit. look to guide him <laughs> okay. from Southside Jamaica, Queens. <laughs> I want to hear my way so bad. I want him to walk through the history of his like discography. Same. What song do you think he's starting with though? Get that. Oh my it would be dope. It would be dope if he started oh with shit out the way. I think it would be dope if he started with uh, "Think of You," his very first single. But I I don't know if that's, there's enough for not, not happening. Either. Oh my God. Think that of you not will not be being played tonight. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, he might start with bad girl, or he might start with yeah. Honestly, what if he starts Roger with... Goodell will come on the oh, field. Oh yeah, there. not a bad start too. Yeah, he might start with yeah, just because it's, it's start so with popular. Like, before anything began between us, boom. He is not starting with yeah. I don't think boom, that's boom. happening. I think he started with my way. Nah. I think he started with that was um, my pick. He make me wanna. That would be amazing. My way is perfect walkout or dance out music. It is. What about Hey Daddy? Hey Daddy isn't that slow. Oh, no. girl. Hey, yo. That's all right. not getting played. Hey <laughs> Daddy is not. <laughs> Nigga, girl. Girl. Hey, how that lift his ass? <laughs> what? <laughs> Y'all set list is ass. I'm not going to lie. I ain't going to hold you. <laughs> Y'all are a mess. Crazy. That's crazy. That's hate. And black history, black history month too. Like that's really crazy. That's racist. <laughs> I don't like that. I feel this like uh, kind of not off but on still on football. But did y'all see that video about uh Jackson Mahomes getting dubbed by uh things white when he tried to get into the section? I mean, yeah, he's scared of hoes. That's what happens when you scared of hoes. But wasn't they saying that how she was like on his side? So what switched? Or why she stopped fucking with him? Because at first they was complaining that she kept fucking with him. But who knows? I guess white people problems. I didn't see that. Yeah, he tried to get in the section and Brittany was hit him with the oh well. But they were also saying that he was with Kayla Nicole, Travis Kelsey's ex, the night before. Mm. So, nigga, he's messy. She is so fine. She is. How long y'all think Taylor and uh thing gonna last? When you think the contract ends? Why do you keep calling him thing? I mean Travis Kelsey, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm picking people's name, I'd be like thing or Come like on, you Kelsey know that dude. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> uh, um, if he win the Super Bowl, they might last a few more months and then you know he'll definitely be a song. I don't know because my good sis Taylor. She has long-term relationships. Like, the last relationship she was in before Travis was, like, seven years or so. so she was with that Nazi. Oof, the Nazi. Yeah, she was with the Nazi before Travis. That's why they yeah, said she, she got Travis to get are that you, clean. Are you talking about Joseph Alwyn, or are you talking about somebody else? I don't know. They just call him the Nazi dude. I think you're talking about somebody after the relationship I'm referring to. Yeah, it was right before Travis. Oh, yes. The guy that she was seen with. No, mm -hmm. I'm talking like when my girl's a lover girl. So I think that with Travis, because they've been together for I don't know how many months or whatever, they could probably go a few more, you know? Um, His mama don't like that girl. So you don't think that once you go black, you don't go back? Because I feel like Travis, he gonna come on home. He went from well, meat and potatoes is to black, black home. Black. He so went from meat and potatoes to asparagus. I don't it's, know. Is black easy, easy, Dory. Easy, easy, Dory. That's I'm not trying easy. to. You said he's gonna come home. I'm right. Like, okay. Don't keep saying, saying it, Dory. <laughs> don't let the tape of fate fool you, baby. Dory wants to know who's home. <laughs> right. <laughs> what home are we talking about? <laughs> Which home? No. Uh, what? No, I don't know. I don't. I, I'm trying not to get too far in the weeds about people's preferences and whatnot. I. 
really liked him with Kayla Nicole, but what if what if I'm over here doing all this liking and shit and they just were awful to each other? What if they needed to break exactly. up? Dead ass. So <laughs> I need to just mind my black ass business and just root for the Chiefs and do what I need to I got do. my own dick to worry about for real. I don't think we're allowed to talk about dick on this stage. Whoops. I don't care who yeah. wins. But um uh, uh toxic down there, you still haven't sent me the plays. I just want to say that. Mmm. Toxic. Toxic in here? No, yeah, she, down, she down there, but I'm still waiting hard to send me the plays. Toxic? I got work playing. I've, I have a theory that toxic toxic is the reason why Joe thinks this about us. But I was. I agree too. I think I, that I think I it's all toxic. This is all her fault because it was never like this. <laughs> I don't think it's toxic's fault at all. Wow. Dory, I was oh. about to tell you that a sweet, sweet, sweet Dory, sweet wet heat, formerly known as Fat sweet, Ma. Wet. <laughs> wait, who, wait, what's going on right now? <laughs> She's just saying my name. That's I'm just saying doing. her name that I think it might be her. Oh, I'm the problem. I think I don't think so, but I think Joe thinks that you are. <laughs> Joe thinks a lot of things. Mm. Me up, me. Mute up me is crazy. Mute <laughs> up me. But yeah, um, go Chiefs. If it was going to be Chiefs versus the Lions, huh? I would not be here. I, I wanted the Lions to win too. I'm not surprised, Dory. I'm surprised you're not out there. Yeah. I, I said it. I said if they're not playing the Lions, I'm not going to be in attendance. Oh, so that's what it was contingent on. Mm. Mm-hmm. So you wasn't gonna go see Lamar? Like you're usually trying to see the nigga bow? <laughs> That's crazy. Who's on the Lions? Oh, I was about to ask the same thing. Why the the nigga bow? Not too much of my whole team beats. All right, but who on it then? Shit. If you don't watch football, you wouldn't know these people. So I'm mm. not. I mean, I don't watch football, but I know who Lamar Jackson is. Right, like I know certain people, but mm. football is too complicated. What they doing out there? Yeah, <laughs> what they doing out there? Keith, are you pulling up to the after hours after this? Um, to the oh, the, the after hours space. Mm-hmm. Um, probably because I'm home. I'm doing laundry, about to cook. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna bring my back today again. It's gonna be big bicep. Get invited to the Super Bowl party, so you know. Wait, Aaliyah, the fuck? Okay, what the hell? Wait, what did you say? <laughs> like, what the hell? Say it again, Aaliyah. Dory, you're the only one who caught it. You ain't Why do I always I always hear it the first time? What like, what is wrong with y'all? Say it again, Aaliyah. Um, it's okay, Feets. I'll tell you in the afties. Nah, DM me. There are no afties. <laughs> Wait, what kind of Super Bowl start? The afties. Oh, look at look, 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 here comes some gay shit. What time does the game feet? start? Afties is not oh, gay shit. It starts at 6 30, Feets. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. So after I was planning on going from one to six thirty? I don't know. They be going at like they be going for like five or six hours now, baby. I got about probably two in me, possibly three. Two and a possible. <laughs> oh shit! You know what? See now, y'all hating on the sis. Got to remove feet now. Nope. See what I mean? Nope. Breaking that up. No siree, Bob. That's what we not about to do in here. Is disrespect the after hours game. That's as much, not what she as did. much as I miss Dash. You think I'm letting y'all do that up here? Wait, what happened? She never, she never disrespected the after hours. Yeah. Just, you know what happened? What happened to him? <laughs> what happened? What happened to who? Dash? Yeah. He's right here. Oh, hi. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh, so last week he was sick. Did you did you see that? Yeah. Yeah, he's he was recovering, so he couldn't be on the um he couldn't okay. be on the show. I got two in me. Nah, nigga. Fuck out of here. Oh, my God. There's Shannon Sharp on the volume. <laughs> yeah. All right. I just had to let that out. I was about to explode. <laughs> Y'all wilding in the middle of the day. <laughs> no, nah, that was funny. That was funny. That was funny enough for me to let Ian come say hi, man. See if let's see if Ian will come say hi. These bisexual girls are going crazy. 
We okay. didn't. Okay. All right, all right. We I'm didn't even. Crazy. I don't even identify. Why is everybody bisexual? That's just. I'm not cool. bisexual. Because of Dory and Feats and Toxic and who else? Toxic they got is a whole not little, bisexual. They got, oh, yeah. But still. Right. Still, she's in the middle. Toxic is very much where she needs to be. <laughs> <laughs> Toxic is gang. Y'all watch it. Toxic is gang. She is gang. Yeah, but I can't let y'all whole gang get together. Nope. No yeah, you gotta break up some of that unity. Of course. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Of course. For sure. Let's get some patriarchy back in here. Oh, That's crazy. Toxic be with the patriarchy. <laughs> <That's> the <best>. <laughs> <laughs> She's very much with the patriarchy. Yeah, no, Toxic is down with us. <laughs> Toxic is the patriarchy. Get some fucking misogyny going on the stage. Does <laughs> Shannon start on the value? <laughs> Let's talk about it, Joe. Come on. Let's talk about it. Yeah, you are such a fool, man. No. Oh. I love how you feed all of your audiences, Joe. It's just so interesting to watch this shit like that season of oz where the prisoners took over and mcmanus had to come back i'm sorry i had to do a pop culture reference i apologize is the oz pop culture uh dory mm-hmm. what do you mean by that i just love how you can appeal to broad audiences and the spectrum of the joe budden universe is vast I love that. I love that journey for you, Joe. That's um, like night there's eight. some shade in there. Some, there's, some, there's some publicist <laughs> shade in there somewhere. <laughs> I, I, I'm only here to support you. <laughs> and I want to repeat that one more time. I am only here <laughs> to support you. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'm, I'm hearing the shade. See. I love being on the spectrum, man, of Joe Budden fans. <laughs> Dory, you only want to hang out around the girls, huh? Uh, huh? I got my patience is running so thin, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh dear God. Um. Anyway, who do you got winning, Joe? <laughs> oh, the Chiefs. <laughs> Me too. I'm waiting for the wings. I'm waiting for the wings, and I'm waiting for Usher. Mm. <laughs> Where'd you get the wings from? I, I don't know if you can reveal that, but uh, a chef. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm going. I'm going Papa John's today. I know that's brokey stuff, but what the fuck. Ordering wings from Papa John's is insane. That's very on brand. <laughs> that sounds. <laughs> that is so on brand. I, just, hey, I like their breadsticks, man. I like their plain breadsticks. I, I ate them as a child. They were mind blowing at the time. Papa John's on Super Bowl Sunday with all of that uh, con- content creator money. That's what you're doing today. Come yeah, on, man. treat yourself. I'm still. I'm still. Don't be fooled by the blogs that I got. All right. I'm still. You know. I still like Papa John's. Come on, get you some Domino wings like a man. I don't like Domino's like that. Or do you live really far from a Domino's? Uh, dog, I live I live very close to a lot of things. I don't live far from anything. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, I have to go back and speak to uh, the girls now. Um, <laughs> I'm, 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 Why are you wow. like this? Why are you like this? So, <laughs> so, don't think that our relationship is any different, but... <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Let's see. I have, to, I have to spread spread the attention <laughs> <laughs> in here. Keep oh, everybody cool. As Dory said, your ability to feed the masses. Yeah. Yeah. I would talk to Dory about that. One. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. We will get to that later. I just had to say something to you and only you, but I digress. I better see you in after hours. I know that. I know you. I I know know that. I know. I'm going to show up and support. Go, gang. Yeah. (laughs) Go, team. I'll be in the WeWork space if anybody wants. Baby. Who? Jameson? 
No, it's it's okay. Did you bring my girl feeds back? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> free her. No, not at all. Free my girl feet. Free, free her. her. Free her till it's backwards. <laughs> <laughs> and text no. Be great. Jameson, not too much. Uh, there's no more Jameson. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. So last night, you know what? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, bring up last night. <laughs> Aaliyah, don't piss me off. <laughs> you don't piss me off either. Because Joe couldn't have been up. Ain't That's no what I was, was just up. about to say. I was about to be like, so you was really up this, that whole time? There's no way. I, I was up the entire time, I promise you. Even the time when Dory was like, shut up, because Joe's going to wake up. I was like, what, oh, the yeah. fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is she talking about? I mean, yeah, I'm just trying to get my shit off. And I'm like, I, I fear that you're just going to pop in and be like, I can hear you. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? I'll save it. But no way. You had to miss the stuff. Uh, if I missed anything, it's because I was on a phone call, not because I was asleep. That's what I'm saying. Mm. I Falling don't. Asleep, my asleep. phone call wasn't very long last night. <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't miss it. That's crazy. Man, there were some story times in there. We yeah, it was wild, a nice time. Got a wild bunch. <laughs> yeah. But there were, like, that's why I was like, there was. Oh, like, yeah, when y'all was doing all of that toxic wars. <laughs> You talking I about the toxic wars? It wasn't a war. It was just well, not a war. Just everybody sharing their most toxic of stories. Yeah, and I didn't have one. Oh, I was awake judging every one of you. <laughs> <laughs> why you ain't? Why you ain't tell us one of yours? I didn't have anything to say in that room last night, child. <laughs> <laughs> once, once I got yep. off my phone call and they kicked me to the audience, I was like, you know what? Good idea. But I thought you were asleep. That's why she was asleep. That's, that's why. why I was like, it's okay. <laughs> like, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, no. Wide awake. Great. Didn't, great. Go, didn't go out last night. My girl went to sleep early. I was just up listening to y'all. TV on mute. Damn. Yeah, that was a real mess last night. <laughs> um, um, Charlotte needs the Zoom podcast. What the hell was that about? What do you say? Charlemagne did a podcast on Zoom, like it's 2020, and I was like, "What the hell is that about?" Just we not jacking that. Oh, I'm gonna wait for your think piece about it. Oh, are you trying to get me to do something on him? Oh no, I just figured you would. Narrative, narrative. A Zoom podcast is whack. Oh no, that's Danny's feet. That's my man, but you gotta go. Danny's feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm going no, to no, Dubs. he gotta go. Dub, you my man, but nah, his name is Dubs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, yeah, nah, that's Danny's feet. I'm nope. going to scream. <laughs> nope. If Dory can't have a feet, Danny can't have a feet. That's I not don't... fair. That's there's only, crazy. There's only one feet. Awkward silence. There you find it. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost one o'clock. I know. I know. I it's know. almost one o'clock. I is know. All I'm saying. We got 10 more minutes of this. It's, it's over. It's over. <laughs> you don't have to Jameson me. <laughs> what, what happened to Jameson? If you don't mind me asking. She ended his whole, his whole spatial audio career. How? Uh, Did you yeah. just 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 quickly reminded him that she wears the pants around here as it pertains to her and him. And him well, like, just how insignificant his audience, his fan base, his existence, and his entire being was she in him, a matter of seconds. She snapped her fingers because he annoyed her and she made sure that we didn't hear a peep from him for the rest of the day. <laughs> Go tuck your fucking tail when you between your legs and sit in a corner somewhere and time out and don't play with the fucking adults that way ever again. Did uh, did another space get started while Jameson was doing another space and the last space? Yeah, kaput, kaput, kaput. 
I don't like that. I don't like that, Jameson. If there's three people in the room, you got to perform. That's what I do. Yeah, kaput. It was o- over in the with the blink of an eye, in a <laughs> nano in a nanosecond. All of a sudden, one person said, "Up, oh, Dory started a room. Gotta go." <laughs> And then it just followed. It's like the Jenga blocks falling all over James. <laughs> but he was still alive under there trying to fight back. Then he crept over to listen anonymously. <laughs> <laughs> then he crept over. It was over. James, and that was pathetic. <laughs> that was really pathetic. It was. You cannot do that without him being able to defend no. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. <laughs> yes, I can. I would like to hear Jameson speak on it, but uh. not today. We got ten <laughs> minutes. We got ten minutes left. Keep it in the medium. Yeah, <laughs> Jameson takes it too far the other way. It wouldn't be medium anymore. <sighs> they know mm-hmm. it's crazy. It was just a quick little <laughs> civil war. <laughs> quick little insight. Yeah. Big pal, pal. <laughs> he, he, he won't play like that again. That's for sure. I think he learned quite the lesson yesterday. Because I'm sick of people imitating me. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone already. <laughs> well, fuck, I'll let Jameson come get his shit off real quick. <laughs> For real, Josh? Joe. That's what we doing? We taking all that out of context? Contextualize it, bro. So first, I w- in the morning, I found this, pic- this old picture of... um of Richard Pryor and Eddie Murphy walking in the woods. I almost sent it to Joe. It reminded me of us. And, um... Us is crazy, babe. <laughs> no, it did. Um, <laughs> and I'm, I'm sit so Joe gets, I'm running a space. Joe never comes to my spaces. Joe comes to say what's up to the kid. I get excited. You know, everybody, if you've been to my spaces, you know how they go. It's a little bit more serious. We get to the dark side of things. Um, and we have fun. We do both. Um, everybody gets kind of uncomfortable because Joe's there. You feel me? No, people don't want to tell their truths. Now, none of these bitches got molested. You know what I mean? Now, nothing horrible has happened to none of these people. Um, uh, I'll, I'll allow you to continue, but can you leave out any sexual abuse or molestation, please, from whatever rant you're on right now? Go ahead, Jameson. You were saying. <laughs> yeah, my bad. I was still muted. Um, yeah, my bad. I'll take that out. Nah, so Joe gets in there. Joe gets on stage. And um, Joe's not speaking. I'm like, well, Joe, if you're going to be on stage, you got to speak. And Joe, very similar to Dory, decided to big dog me. And start saying, and this was after I said, all right, y'all, I'm about to in the room. And he was like, first off, Jameson, you in the gate after an hour. Um, it's crazy. Two, I'm not your fucking mentor, bitch ass nigga. Three, you never gonna be as big as Trey Songs. Four, you think in five years you're gonna take it where you need to take it. You're sadly mistaken. Five, I've never watched your YouTube. Maybe I'll check it out one day, bozo. And then you know when Joe gets on stage, everybody starts d riding. So and then it was like, yeah, get that nigga Joe. Uh uh-uh, uh, uh-uh. he is a bitch ass nigga. Uh uh-uh, uh, we never loved him the way we said we did. Uh uh-uh, uh uh uh. And I'm like, I'm devastated. I'm like, Joe. Are you, uh, are you serious? He was like, you're not my mentee. I'm going to mute you for a second. I brought you up here to attack Dory. I didn't know that I was at the center of this. I, I don't I attack don't women, Joe. Hey, how the hell is this guy able to talk still? The hell's going on? All right, fine. No, this wasn't. You're asking why I ended the room. I was so devastated. Uh, yeah, that was an, this was anti Yeah, let me just finish. Let, let me just finish. I'm not going to it. He was like, finish. I'm not <laughs> muting you. Finish. Okay. He was like, uh, Joe was like, you'll never be the bald nigga from Menace Material. That'll never be you, Jameson. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. And AJ so, is his name. I was so devastated. AJ. Shout out to AJ. I was, I was fucking, I was so devastated. Like, I was like, I was trying not to throw up. And so Dory at this time sees my knees buckling. She starts to room because that's when Dory just fucks with me. That's not what happened. 
And <laughs> and I'm like, I'm trying to gather myself. Doko's like, yo, J Mo, you good, bro? Shout out to my brother Doko. You know how we rocking. Um, and it's I'm like, I'm trying to gather myself because I'm I'm really I, I I'm frazzled at this point. And so Joey starts the room, and then Joe's like, yeah, I'm gonna go over there now. Bye, Jameson. <laughs> I'm like, uh, bye, Joe. And like, I, I, and then I'm like, I'm I'm already in bed now. But now, I'm no, I covers. stayed in your nerd room, and then y'all started talking about Christianity. I stayed because I'm a real nigga. I stayed because the real nigga in me would not allow me to just abruptly leave like Feats did. I couldn't <laughs> behave like the bisexual girls, so I stayed with the niggas. And if you was a real nigga, you'd be my fucking mentor, dog. Like a bunch of doofs in there. So then I got out of there and went to the girls like it's been the story of my entire life. <laughs> you try to hang around niggas, they want to do shit like rob somebody, break in a house, uh, go blow a stack over here. Praise go, Jesus. Go, go beat yeah. somebody up. You got to go get with the women to realize, oh, shit, it's smelling good over here. Uh -uh. Yeah. Hey, Long oh, story, let's not. They got <laughs> stories and jokes and bottles over here. Oh, shit. A good time. Hey, they got vices <laughs> and trauma over here. Hey, this is my type of party. We like to laugh. We yeah, like to the laugh. niggas don't laugh enough. Niggas don't space. laugh no more. Yo, why no. you niggas don't laugh no more in the spaces? Because they want to talk about podcasts. Well, <laughs> talk about other stuff. I want yeah, what's fun to us and what's fun to y'all are two different things. Joe's one of the baddies, so he likes that little gossip. <laughs> no, the girls are more fun than y'all. The girls in this space are more fun than y'all. <laughs> like, it only like, be Joe deflect. and Khalil. Don't it deflect. Only be Joe and no, 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 no. no. Think, Hold up. Mute up, nigga. Everybody mute up now. What we not about to do is put smut on the girls' names. Y'all are lying and deflecting. These women are more fun than this group of guys. That is the fact of the matter. And if you would like to refute that, then please, the floor is yours. But don't start lying on the women's like y'all are a whole a whole day at Chuck E. Cheese. You're not. The fuck? Nigga, hell no, I'm not fun. The fuck? The no, nothing me? about y'all niggas is fun. Y'all ain't gonna shit on the girls like that. They, they ain't fun. nobody shit on the girls, Joe. Then say it, then say it. This is what happens. This is how narratives start. Ain't nobody sit on the girls. Say it. No, they be they sitting on the girls. are more fun than me. Say mm -hmm. it. It's only Jameson? No. No, well, I'm talking to Jameson, so I said me. But no, okay. y'all niggas know. Y'all know. Y'all niggas know. I don't I have think, to highlight it. I think we be, we be having fun. It's just a mix, man. The mix up. People like Pulls those before calls. Yo, it was a fry, it was a hot Saturday night. I love it here. The girl spaces ended. I was like, damn, man, do I hit the streets and thought around like the real nigga I be? Or do I just sit in the house? And then I went to my little thingamajig I go to, and Danny's circle was purple. Mm. I said, holy shit. Uh -oh, On a hot Saturday shot. night. About to get Jameson. And a hot Saturday night. I'm going to stay in and see what the fuck is going on on the WeWork side. And when I got in there, I saw my business partner on stage. Or my owner, as pretty, pretty Flacco puts it. <laughs> 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 and they were having a whole meeting. A WeWork's congregation. The room was titled Town Hall, even. And I sat in there and listened to what these guys were doing on a Saturday, hot Saturday night. I said to myself, wow, I know the girls are somewhere having a blast. They're having so much fun that there is no girl spaces right now. They're outside, smelling good, short skirts on, dresses, fucking beautiful outfits. Thighs out. Lathered, fucking misleading a group of men getting somewhere. Getting, getting free drinks from Thumbs niggas. Thumbs out, thumbs out. Oh, uh, they, they out there plotting, plotting on rich niggas. They out there doing fun shit. They doing some fun Saturday night girly shit. But I just sat there and listened to Danny and Ian. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I stayed. I'm sorry we left you, Joe. I listened anonymously, even. <laughs> I know, I know you were there. I was there, shaking my fucking head, sitting crisscross applesauce in my bed. 
Well, Joe, I mean, I feel like we did the science. I'm sorry. Uh, me and Ian, we're getting to the bottom of some things, having a conversation about creation. And uh, I cannot, why don't you just uh, start the space and call it girl space? I'm sure it'll pop off, you know? That's hate. No, I'm saying I think uh, it will work. That was hate. That's that, not was hate. hate. that was hate. That was not hate. It was. It, it would have happened. It would have happened. He said you're boring. <laughs> I, I, I disagree respectfully. You know what the problem is? No, no. There's always What's the problem? problem? No, Jameson, speak your mind, man. I'm tired of this is this is your well, it's not your space, but this hmm. is a space you're in that you can let your voice be heard. Thank you for the support, but no, it's fine. I'm muted. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, you gotta seize the moment, bro. Well, shout Jameson, out to Ian, I man. stand with you, brother. We Yugoslavian, you know how we rock. Big Yugoslavian shit. Oh, Imani's here. Imani's in the building, maybe. Bring him up. I don't know. Oh, God. Maybe bring him up. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you see what happens when you don't have a co-host? I like it like that. Well, when when I... I Listen, you know, even though... I don't know. You're Yugoslavian with everybody now, so I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even like that anymore. I don't. But when I co-host you, and you know I miss you as a co-host... You know it gets a little too gay on stage. Oh, it does. It it does. And and it be in the blink of an eye. As soon as you look One up, minute. It's just cr- one minute it's Miss Niggas. Next minute it's leader of the gays. No, I want you to always be Miss Niggas. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, are you allowed to say that? Salute. <laughs> See, Joe, in moments like these when it's silent, that's when I would promote my YouTube. And then you would get kicked. I keep on trying. Jameson, we'll talk. We'll talk. I'm saying, why won't Joe just give babe, me that leeway? Babe. We'll Jameson, I, I don't, I'm not a fan of that style of promotion. It's, it's nasty. I believe in letting the work do the work. And you don't believe in that. Yes, I do. I just think I need to get the ball rolling first. Yep. I know. And the way to do that is not this style of promotion that you think is cool. It's not, I actually think it has the reverse effect. I think because of your style of promotion, niggas are purposely not trying to hear whatever you're saying. Well, you should See, do that's it the, by that's a Melissa the Ford of... cameo. And then you what you down. should do is give, give ICE a thousand dollars. Sit with ICE. Get with him. <laughs> And not talk about the breakup. Let him give you the interview of your career. And then you'll take off. I'm about to go on the interview myself. So (laughs) who who, are you going to pay? I'm not paying nobody. It's going to be free. They looking out for me, man. Nah, you got to pay somebody at some point. No, I'm not. I'm not paying nobody. You, you, you I work your, hard. You burnt your, I work, you burnt I work your hard. body bridge. <laughs> I work hard so I don't have to pay ice. <laughs> All right. Too much we works. Too much we works. Too much we works. Guys, this has been, <laughs> man, come on. Give, give it up. <laughs> give it up a for A real yourself. wang dang doodle of a time. Uh, wait, come on. Hasn't no, it been? I- <laughs> a true a true meeting of the minds. Yes. Yes, we did it. Fabulous. We did it, y'all. Hey. You win. <laughs> you win. <laughs> uh, the after hour spaces. <laughs> is, Are we promoting them niggas? Is in 20 minutes. Hopefully I'll see some of you there. <laughs> if not, I will catch you in each of your respective spaces. Listening anonymously, of course. Right. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, the space is at one, right? I forgot. Right. <laughs> yes, Danny. That doesn't mean for you to start a space at one. I think oh, they my... should have competed with the Super Bowl. They could have beat them. <laughs> That's hate. Um, so it's That's been awesome. real. Um uh, I love and, you here. That's that. I love you guys. Everybody enjoy the Super Bowl. Happy Sunday, y'all. It's Jesus Gang over here. You know how I'm rocking. Don't forget your Lord and Savior. All right, hold up. Let me remove you while I say this. Okay, now that Jameson is gone, everyone enjoy your Super Bowl Sunday. Enjoy your loved ones. Oh my and god. And we'll get together some other time. Maybe even tonight. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Girl spaces next time. We more fun.
Yeah, I want to join the Ghostbusters. Yo, yo, let me, let, wait, let me tell y'all that every time I start a space, it's typically because I asked Dory to start a space <laughs> and she would not. Dory <laughs> brings all the girls to the yard. Yeah, I get Dory's notification. I so asked I Dory to here. start a space and she refused. You did not ask me to start a space. I, I specifically said start a girl space. You did actually. Never mind. You did. I know. Wow. <laughs> I can show you. He did. He, did. he literally said start That's space. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> I'm sorry. And you skipped it and started talking about some other shit. I sure did. So, what do you want me to do? I'm screaming. Yeah. Wow. I love it here, guys. So, um, she said no just to be a co host in this one. No, I didn't. I ignored his message because I didn't think he was serious. And wow. then two seconds later, he started to speak. Yeah, it's like, hello, the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, we're we're going to get back to having some some good old fun. Because some, medium, was, was it medium? It was not. Girl, this shit was low. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, my okay. God. I'm no, sorry. Come on, man. No, no, you did it, Danny. It was you. <laughs> it was no. definitely you. It was you. Said it you you said gonna be it was boys. This is this is <laughs> not a snapshot of the true sentiment. Took the wind right out our sails. Yeah. Well, <laughs> whenever well, Dory, whenever the girl face is Heard you. Heard you. I got you. Peace I'm and love. Right now. Bye. Goodbye, Bye. everyone. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.